Hello students. Today we are going to deal with the topic shape memory alloys. Shape memory alloys are also known as active or smart materials. Basically the principle behind shape memory alloys is they undergo phase transformation which will produce shape changes when they are subjected to a thermal field. That is when a constant load is applied on shape memory alloys and when it is cooled its shape changes due to the produced strain. When we talk about phase transformation we have two phases namely austenite the high temperature phase and martensite the low temperature phase. This diagram is the principle of working of a SMA material that is when you have a input stimulus for example a stress and when it is heated by and when the material is heated by current or magnetic field the output it gives a response which is a change in shape or it elongates. The best no well known example of SMA is nitinol NITI alloy which is a shape memory alloy. It deforms to its martensite condition during cooling and regains its original shape in the austenite condition when heated. When the phase transformation takes place from austenite to martensite during cooling, there is a change in shape due to elongation. When the alloy returns to its austenite phase from martensite by heating, it comes back to its original shape. So, this is the diagram that explains the NITI alloy that is undergoing shape change. This is called as thermohysteresis. Okay. So, you can see in the diagram. A is your austenite that is the normal phase which is high temperature, B is martensite. So, when we are going to heat it, it is going to go from A to, uh, when you are going to cool it, it is going to go from A to B and while heating it regains its original shape. So, under a constant tensile load during cooling, NITI wire goes from austenite A to a martensite state B, it elongates, there is a change in shape. When it is heated back, it comes back to its original shape. So, NITI alloy can switch from a temporary shape to a parent shape above a certain temperature. Below that, it can bend into various configurations. The change in shape and getting original shape of the material are due to twinning mechanism. This transformation temperature depends on the constituents of the alloy and generally it varies from minus 200 to 110 degrees Celsius. The phase transformation in NITI alloy is a thermoelastic one. NITI is an intermetallic compound having the behavior of metals and ceramics which arise due to its metallic, ionic and covalent bond. Other examples of SMA materials are copper zinc aluminium alloy, copper aluminium nickel alloy, Nickel manganese gallium alloy which is sensitive to magnetic field so they are also called as magnetic shape memory alloys. Similarly we can have some polymers that are shape memory in nature for example polyurethane is a shape memory polymer. Coming to the applications SMAs are used as a sensor for sensing temperature and magnetic field. They are known to change their stiffness characteristics with a change in operating temperature so this is used in vibrational control. Example, the most common one is a shrink wrap. SMAs are used as actuators in so many places. In case of orthopedic devices, they are used for pulling the fractures together. SMAs are used in dental braces and endovascular implants. Endovascular implants are used to keep the diseased blood vessel in open condition. NITI alloy is used in eye glass frame to protect it from excess deformation. SMAs are also used in actuating springs which opens or closes uh, that is a control valve. Copper based SMAs are used as actuators to shut off toxic and flammable gases flow when there is a fire accident. Further these are used in artificial hearts, pipe fitting, pipe coupling, servo mechanism for driving, recording pens, switches, thermostats etc. Thank you.